I love America, and I know we can make it better. The first president I ever got to vote for was Barack Obama, and I really appreciated his me message of hope and change. And I don't agree with members of the party who think we have to be pragmatic, who think we have to compromise. I think we win more people, and more people like me, when we're out there promoting an optimistic, hopeful vision for the American people. What's interesting is how they seem to be attacking Vice President Biden. I understand it because he's the front runner, but I also think he has a really incredible record to run on, and I do respect uh, that he was Vice President for Barack Obama, a president I love. Uh, at the same time, the party has moved on since 2016, and I think he's got to be better at you know standing up on his record and also painting a, a vision that's a lot more expansive than maybe he would have ever imagined back in 2016. I've been uh, I've been uh, pleased to uh, to to see both uh, Tulsi Gabbard and Kirsten Gillibrand um, be more uh, I don't know I think I think their performances this evening were better than in the first debate. To take away insurance from half the people in this room and and put huge and we are we are we are having Mayor De Blasio. Yeah, I don't understand why Democrats on this stage are. Oh, I just want to share a story. When I told my wife I was running for president, you know the first question she asked me. Certainly, uh, there are a number of pot shots being taken at uh, the the poll leader, that being Joe Biden. Um, I like Joe, but it's like, dude, you know, your, your yesterday's news. I feel like we're, this is the first time that we have multiple candidates talking about a range of progressive ideas. Whereas we would have one or two sort of outlier candidates with more progressive ideas about the environment or about um, healthcare and you would, and then they would be just be drowned out by a more centrist argument. Whereas now it feels like if you're not progressive, you're not going to be successful just because of how polarized it's become.